Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the interview scenario that was asked in Dr. Redis and this was for L2. So the scenario was, uh, there is a parameter for which we have to show the sales for the date selected by the user. Along with that, we also need to show the sales for the previous year same date. Okay, so this is the scenario. Okay, and now if I show it in tableau this is how it looks so if a user is selecting let's say 2 12 2021 so this is for current year and previous year same day same sales that is the intention here so let us get started without wasting much time while i do so if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so first thing that i am doing is i am creating a parameter here and uh, naming it as uh, date input Okay, and I'm choosing date type and I'm fixing range here from my order date. Okay, so from 2018 till 2021, we got values here. So click OK. So, okay, so it is already, I think, available. So I'm just selecting date here. Okay, so simply using date here, click OK. So I'm just clicking on show parameter here and just clicking on type it okay perfect we got one parameter created now i'm simply using one dimension a random dimension and that i'm taking so i want to take subcategory here okay and i want to display the sales for the current year so i'm just writing a calculated field here current year sales okay so simple calculation is if my order date is equal to this date that we have created the parameter then give me sales and i'm ending it simple without any this thing you can also write else zero also shouldn't be an issue and now what i'm doing is just doing an aggregated on top so one recommendation here is whenever you are using functions like this some average or whatever the inbuilt functions from Tableau always try to use them in capital letters because that is the standard that we follow in real time. Okay, so I'm aggregating at calculated field level, but if you want to do it at uh, this sheet level also, you can do it. That's up to you. I'm just taking this and dropping it here. Perfect. So this is now working for us. So for the date selected by the user, it is displaying the sales. Now we want to go for previous year. So now just to show you what I'm doing is I'm just taking my order date here and I'm just converting that into exact date and I'm making it discrete in nature. So we got all the dates. Likewise, I'm creating a calculated field here for previous, previous year sales. Okay and what i'm doing is simply using date add function that's it so this is the trick that you need to remember or hint that you should get when you are you are trying to answer this kind of question that is the expectation from the client also so if you are able to tell this i think you will get majority of the marks there so i'm just using this subtracting minus one from my year that's it this is the year part i'm specifying Click on apply. Okay. And I'm just going to previous year and dropping it right next to this, making it exact, exact date and uh, will make it discrete in nature. Okay. I'm making it discrete in nature. Okay, now see here, this is our actual date, but it displaying it is 2070. Perfect, we are able to go back to one year exactly. Okay, now what I'm doing is, I'm just going to our original sheet and I'm going to edit this calculation. But before I do, if you see, there is one issue here. In order date, we do not have any timestamp, but here we are getting timestamp. Okay, so observe this calculation. We are simply doing this date add. But to fix this, I'm simply changing the 
data type here to date so we got only dates times are now timestamp is now eliminated but if i go and edit the calculated field you see tableau has automatically rounded up that using date function okay i'm going to sheet 8 now and i'm going to edit this function or edit this calculated field so same like how we have written for current year i'm writing the same if my order date is equal to date out of this and select it sorry it is only date for us okay then give me sales and end it sales else zero end so like we did earlier i'm aggregating here only sum of this click on apply okay now let us see if it works okay and uh, if i take let us take it category level okay so It is current year and it is previous year. So just to clarify what I'm doing is I'm taking my order date and dropping it on label. Okay. I'm making it exact date. Okay. And just let us make this entire view. Now observe the dates here. It is 1, 12, 2020 and this is 2021. So I'm just putting my current year first. It is 21. It is 20. So whatever the date I select, one is for my current year and another one is my previous year. So like this, we can achieve the given requirement. So that's it from my side in this video. I, I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye-bye.